Oh boy, do we have something special for you guys today. I graduated a few days ago from college. That's not even the best part. I went to the butcher a few days ago. I don't know if you guys have seen this, if you follow my other socials, but we got a whole gallon of beef blood. Look at that. We're gonna give it a try today. It's fully thawed out. I've never had raw blood. I have no idea the source. All I know is that it was frozen and now we're gonna give it a try before our workout. Oh, that doesn't smell that bad at all. I was a little nervous for this one, guys. I'm not going to lie. Is this the best pre-workout that you can have? Oh, you see that? Like, look at the, there's like something at the top. I don't know what that is. Oh, that's easy. I'm tripping. Blood's actually good. All right, so now we're gonna hit a workout. My stomach feels fine. I'm like juiced up though. I feel so damn good. If you guys haven't seen this before, this is my home gym. We got a rack, a sauna, Peloton, treadmill, free weights. I've been training really hard recently, doing a lot of lifting. In the past year, I actually went from college rower to no longer a college rower. I quit and left school. Just graduated though, I was all online, so I just decided to come home and I've been taking training pretty seriously. For a long time, I was focused on being way too lean. I was like 175 pounds in this photo and then I was like 180. Low energy, felt like shit. My cardio was insane. Like I would run 10 miles at like a 640 pace, like easy. I was just a cardio freak. Now I've been trying to get away from that as of late and we've been able to get my bench press up a ton. I benched 225 for the first time a couple weeks ago, which was a huge milestone for me. Currently 6'3", 205 pounds. I'm feeling better than ever. This is what a typical workout would look like for me. Finished up our workout, our lifting section of the workout. Now we're gonna hit a Peloton ride as the sauna is heating up. I always like to do cleans last. I feel like I get the best burn. It's like a finisher almost. And then we just do some steady state cardio. I ain't gonna lie to you guys, my stomach is bubbling. I don't know if it's the blood or the slightly undercooked bacon that I had for breakfast before I even started filming. All right, we made it. Now I'm finishing up in the sauna. I like to put my fitness before everything, before business, before school even sometimes. Anyway, I just graduated, so I don't have school anymore, but I usually put it over everything. Knock it out in the morning, feel good the rest of the day. Now, the real fun begins. I got zero friends. Gonna go run some errands right now. We're not gonna take the Porsche. It is not my car to begin with, it's my dad's. It's also a little rainy. I'll show you guys though, this is Butter Dog's whip, right? This is the Jeep and it's my baby. We need to get some gas first. We gotta run to the butcher. We need to get some bone marrow, some ground beef probably, cause we have some extra special recipes. I wanna show you guys an inside tour of my butcher while we're there, so let's go. We're at the butcher, baby. Let's go. This is my happy place. Prime beef, Mundelein, Illinois. I've sat in that wagon before for a video. I'm at my happy place, the butcher. All right, guys, this is where I get all my pizzle. That's a full pizza. Check it out right there. That is a pizza. This cooler's full of a bunch of cool stuff. We got testicles. This is what we're looking for right here. Bones. There we go. That's our beef. They grind it up here for you before you buy it. We bought six pounds. All right, time for some feet loaf. Let's go. You guys, we're gonna love this. We're making feet loaf. Feet, meat, loaf. Let's go. We're making some feet loaf. Where'd 
butcher. All you're gonna need for this recipe is just ground beef, onion for the toenails. If you wanna get extra fancy, bone to stick out the top of the feet. That feels good, that's nice ground beef. Gotta give it some grippers. <laughs> How many toes, five toes? <laughs> that's good, isn't it? Yeah. Who wants feet loaf? Yummy! This is the only time you'll ever see me eat a vegetable. This is a meatloaf, but feet, get it? Feet loaf? Yeah. Onion toenails, femur bone from a cow. You literally don't even need to bake this. I like to get down on some toes. I'm not afraid to lick the toes. Mm. Feet loaf. You need to make this. I eat like this every single day and feel amazing. If you wanna level up your fitness, start eating feet loaf, I'm not kidding. If you've seen any of my TikTok videos, you probably think a lot of this is a joke, but at the end of the day, I do eat this way. I've been eating a carnivore diet for around a year and I think it's one of the best ways to lose weight because it takes all of the thinking out of it. You're not thinking about what I'm gonna eat, how much I eat, your body really does it for you. When you eat real foods, you get the signal to your brain, okay, I've had enough, I'm done. There's no binge eating. I really do think it's the best way to eat, but here are a few unexpected negative consequences of a carnivore diet that made me switch to animal-based and start including fruits and honey in my diet. And the first was the sleep. In the beginning, my sleep was great. I was feeling amazing. But after a while, my sleep was terrible. I was sleeping only a few hours a night, getting up every single hour. And secondly, my libido was down terribly. Now that was all corrected when I started eating fruits and honey, but in the beginning, it was a little uh, worrisome. I ended up taking the Chalk Tomcat 100 with code butter for 35% off your subscription for life, which is a pure Tomcat Ali root extract proven to boost testosterone 87% in just 21 days in healthy males. And that was enough to kickstart my libido and get me feeling amazing again. If you guys order your subscription and use code butter, you'll get 35% off for life. Link in the description. Lastly, my workouts were trash. And when I was first carnivore, I was an endurance athlete at the University of Wisconsin. I was on the rowing team and my performance dipped tremendously. You need carbs for performance. People say, oh, you can run on fat and you can, but when, you tr when you're trying to get into that extra gear, you need the carbohydrates to fuel your body. Not to mention the whole recovery aspect. Meat is great for recovery, but you also need some carbohydrates, a little insulin spike, get all the nutrients to your muscles. Since you guys made it this far, thank you. Hit that subscribe button. The uploads are gonna keep coming.